you can't have a tech podcast in 2025 unless you're talking about vibe coding. Vibe coding is this process whereby you use a large language model to develop code for you. Just let it handle all of the software development. This is such a good tool for software development that we're going to have to figure out a message beyond just security, not there. Don't use this. Be better. What are we all doing? Yeah, exactly. Don't use this, I think, is just not going to work for this particular technology. But when you look at the capability for someone with basically no technical skills to be able to essentially press a button and develop a app or a website that can support their business or execute on an idea that they had. There are still security issues to be aware of. Like you did cite some interesting studies that point out that the code that is coming out of LLMs from a security perspective, isn't that great? Yeah, so there's this really interesting metric that developers have put together that really looks at a kind of two things. It essentially evaluates them for the percentage of code that they produce that is workable, like it does what it's supposed to do, and is relatively secure, like it doesn't have these very obvious uh, vulnerabilities into it. The extensive testing has found that all of these models uh, tend to rate in the 50 to 60% range for code that is one of those two things, insecure or doesn't work. And even with really specific security prompting on the front end, that really only yields marginal improvements in, in these figures. So these things are not ready.